A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton. This is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea. Speaking to you in the month of August 2019 in this part 11 video where I'm reading to you all from this wonderful magazine from the late Herbert W. Armstrong, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. And this is a pity of the late Herbert W. Armstrong, brothers and sisters. How wonderful! Excellently, excellent. In this part 11 video, brothers and sisters. So without further ado, let the reading begin. But as Satan six working days so representing the six thousand years, a lot of the man close God, Jesus Christ God is about to step in supernaturally and to intervene in world affairs to come back to the earth to set up the kingdom of God. The coming is seven and he will be ruling for the a thousand years, which is a million thousand years, which is the seven which represents the seven day of the week. The seven thousand years, because each day, the, the seventh day of the week, each day symbolizes a uh, thousand years. So the coming seven million thousand years reign of Christ. So we'll see Satan restrain. Christ will return to rule the earth with all the power of God the Father. God new order for the next thousand years will restore peace, happiness, and joy. How wonderful, brothers and sisters. So Jesus Christ will, re will bring peace to the world because he's a God of peace. Happiness because he's a God of happiness and joy to the world. And that's what we need in our lives today. We need peace, we need joy, and we need happiness. Brothers and sisters, in all the chaos, in spite of all the, in all the chaos that is around us, we need the peace of God. We need the, the, the happiness of God. And we need the joy of God. Then men may look back over this present world and compare. Never will God reinforce a single human being against his own will into salvation and eternal life. But with the 7,000 years record of experience set plainly before seeing eyes, do you think anyone will want to return to those ways or seems now to love, not many, you may be sure of that. Yes, some even then will rebel. Finally, the world will acknowledge of its own free volition that God we are right. Christ say, the scriptures learn obedience by the things which he suffer. Hebrews 5 verse 8. Even he who never did wrong and being made perfect through experience. He became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Verse 9. Some someday we will look look upon God's plan with breathtaking admiration and we the suffering of this present time shall have failed completely from mine. The lesson of experience we should have with us for eternity. Finally humanity, mankind shall Except God's way of life, knowing that they are right way, the, ex the ha happiness, joy we shall then experience cannot be conceived by our mind. Today, none will look back and say, God isn't fair. So, brothers and sisters, what Herbert W. Armstrong is saying, in the 7,000 years when Christ comes to reign upon this earth, People will be seeing the righteous rulership of God, how he is ruling justly, holy, righteously, good and fair and just over mankind. And when mankind compared the 7,000 years reign of Jesus Christ, that 1,000 years reign of Jesus Christ, and they look, at the, and they look back at the 6,000 years reign of man, how man was reigning and there was dictators and tyrants and injustice. Mankind will say, you know, that 1,000 years reign of Jesus Christ 
is better than that 6,000 years reign that mankind went through and experienced. And mankind now will desire that 1,000 years righteous rulership of God to continue over the life. And mankind will desire the righteous rulership of God. Yes, and they will say God way is the right way because God way is a way of peace, love, joy, happiness, and goodness. And that's what Hobo W. Armstrong is saying. And what he is saying is true. Hobo W. Armstrong is not lying. He's telling us the fact, brothers and sisters. And I have recognized that fact. I have accepted that fact. I embrace that fact. And I'm sharing it with you. That's why I have this wonderful magazine. And I've completed this series. This, I've completed this, this, this series. By the grace of God. By the help of God. Why God permits human suffering. In this part, in this part 11 video. Brothers and sisters, so when man compare the, the, the 6,000 years, of course, Lucifer reign over man, and how man is ruling also, by his own ideas and philosophy also, and with God, 7,000 years reign, one Christ, 1,000 years reign on the earth, they will desire God's way of life, because his way of life, rulership, Brothers and sisters will be the right way of rulership because his rulership, um, he's ruling over man fairly and righteously. And, he, and his way is a way of joy and happiness and gladness and holiness and righteousness. Brothers and sisters, and when Christ reigns on the earth, there will be no wars, no famine, no earthquake, no tidal waves, no tsunami, no, no armed revolution. Every, every country will have no high rate of crime. Crime will be a, a thing of the past. No poverty. Every mouth will be fed. Three squeeze a meal a day. No malnutrition in South Africa. Brothers and sisters, no disease, no sickness, no plague. Brothers and sisters, no need for hospital and all these things. Brothers and sisters and clinic to check up. Everybody will be healed by Jesus Christ. Do we want a world like that? Well, I want a world like that. Free of sickness and disease. And God will produce all that in his righteous rulership, brothers and sisters. But do we have that now? No. Every day the hospital is full up with people. And even when you go to the hospital, they even get in the jugs there. The doctors are stealing the jugs and going in a private practice and, and, and sell it there to, 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 to the people. All corruption. But in Jesus Christ, in the kingdom of God, have corruption? No, well, I can show you all. In heaven, there's no corruption. And when the kingdom of God is established down here, there's there no corruption. Neither. I can assure you all that, brothers and sisters. I want that. I want that. Yes, I want a world free of sickness. We don't have to go to no hospital, no clinic, brothers and sisters. Disease will be the thing of the past. I want that. Do we have that now? No, we do not have that. So all these things will be in the kingdom of God. How wonderful, how wonderful, brothers and sisters. And I'm glad to complete this part 11 video. Um, do God um, put humans, do God permit human suffering? Yes, he's permitting it now, but he's not the author of human suffering. Human suffering come about because of sin in the world. So therefore we cannot blame God for it because he didn't bring it about. And his, his intention was not man, for mankind to suffer. Because when he created the angels, he, his intention was not for the angels to suffer neither. Because when God created all the angels, all the angels wasn't suffering. All of them was, live, was in the kingdom of God, living in love and peace, in the goodness of God. And the same way how God created all the angels not to suffer, he said he created mankind not to suffer the, the same way too. Not to suffer, but suffering come, come in the world because of sin. So we cannot blame God for it. And all those who are blaming God for the suffering in this world, they are blaming God wrongly. They are doing it out of ignorance, not knowing the facts. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, forgive me for shouting. Forgive me for shouting and being that voice to us. But I have to be that way to drive home the point a full 100% to you all, brothers and sisters. I have to react this way sometimes, brothers and sisters. But not all the time, brothers and sisters. So, so we need, we need, we need the peace of God, the love of God, the happiness of God. We need that in the world today. We need that in our town, in our village, in the rural areas, in the countryside, in the urban areas, in the inner city, in the outer city, in the suburbs, and in the country at large, and in the world at large. We need that so dearly 
today, brothers and sisters. The love of God, the peace of God, the joy of God, and the happiness of God. And who is the only one to bring it about? God himself. And that is exactly what he is doing. The second return of Jesus Christ back to this earth. To make this world a better place for the whole of humankind. The whole, the whole of the human family to live in peace and security. Peace and security and happiness and righteousness and joy and goodness in the kingdom, the government of God. How wonderful, my dear friend. How wonderful, how wonderful. God will bring it to pass for the benefit of mankind. I could assure you all, brothers and sisters, and that's what he promised us in the scriptures, and he will fill it to the letter and to the T. A full 100% he will bring it about. Yes, my dear friends. So, was happy if I to join you all, brothers and sisters. I thank God I've completed the series from 1 to part 11. I'm very happy about that. I've completed that series. What do God permit human suffering? Reading very vital information and sharing to you, sharing with you all that information that I've read from you all from that wonderful book of the, the Plain Truth magazine from the late Robert W. Armstrong. So I thank you all for being the patient for being patient, being very patient with me. And I have completed the series. How wonderful, how wonderful. A job well done. Hats off. So, Shalom peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends. And let me remind you all to study this series from 1 to 11 carefully with all the Holy Bible, the words of God, and give all your life to Jesus Christ. And those who see this video on the internet and the world wide web and have to give your life to Jesus Christ, surrender your life. Look for the closest Bible believing church in your district area that observes Saturday as a Sabbath day. Go on into Jews yourself for the pastors. Join the Bible class, the studies. Get be baptized. Begin reading the Bible from Genesis to Revelation and going in the community and become um, tell others about the kingdom of God. Or you could open a YouTube account on Facebook, on Twitter, on on and um, begin recording videos like uh, uh, like me telling others about the gospel. Oh yes, how wonderful. Shashulam peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye bye, my friends.